This week, there are two strange gadgets that you strap to your wrist, a new way to administer medical marijuana, a new streaming stick, and the cutest robots. I just had to show you the cutest robots. It's October 3rd. I'm Daria, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> If you're tired of having pretty girls talk to you, boy do I have the gadget for you. It's called the Nixie Quadcopter by a company called Fly Nixie. It's a wearable camera that you wear around your wrist. It's kind of a weird concept, but it contains a tiny Polaroid in the middle of its body to capture active pictures at unique angles. The inventor, Christoph Kostel, thought this would be a neat way for people to take photographs without having to fiddle with camera setups. You just strap it on like a bracelet, and with the flick of your wrist, it will fly up into the air. It ended up as one of the finalists for Intel's Make It Wearable Challenge. I think it would be super cool to use, I just have a hard time believing people wouldn't be like, take that off please, everywhere I went in public. Speaking of something that you wear on your wrist that may or may not end up being a complete bust, a wearable, a flexible, wearable smartphone that straps to your forearm. Hey, I've got an iPhone. It's pretty much bendable, right? How about I just try this out? Now all I need is one giant eye, two heads, and a spaceship. I'm just kidding. I've got to say this isn't comfortable. <laughs> the device is called Portal, and its six inch flexible screen is probably a little lighter than what I'm experiencing right now. The company, Arubix, made this with the intention for wearable lovers to have more room to text and type. Something the teensy weensy Apple iWatch apparently doesn't have room for. I mean, the Apple iWatch has plenty of room, actually. Unless you have big sausage fingers. So Portal is part smartphone, part smartwatch, part fitness tracker, all in something that looks like a phablet. And it's got decent specs. A scratch and water resistant flexible display, two gigs of RAM, four cameras, a full suite of sensors, NFC, Bluetooth, and it runs Android. I want to like this, but you'd have to be pretty shameless to wear this around and plot twist. I was reading rumors that Arubix, the company that makes it, has zero chances of actually producing this phone. They just wanted to raise money on their Indiegogo page. Shame. For those of you who love streaming TV and media, there is yet another brand new HDMI stick out there. This time, Matchstick runs Mozilla Firefox and can quote, fling content, apps, and games from a computer or an iOS and Android device to your large screen. It works just like Chromecast. It's just cheaper at only $25 and 18 if you get it on Kickstarter. As far as quality, expect it to be a little more authentic than the Google Chromecast because it's completely open source hardware and software. Out of the box, it will come with many cool apps including ABC, ESPN, Netflix, Pandora, and HBO Go. As if there aren't enough ways for stoners to enjoy their marijuana. How about a 3D printed inhaler? Actually, we're talking about medicinal purposes here. Marijuana is not only starting to become legal in America for medicinal use, but recreational use as well. A company called Psyche from Israel has created a handheld inhaler that gives a metered dose of medical marijuana with the mission of making medical marijuana more respectable. It allows physicians to administer the drug in a truly predictable and precise manner. And if you think about it, everything else comes in a pill form. Now pot can come in specific quantities and that's really cool. I'm just a little worried about the whole smoking out of the plastic thing, unless the idea of exposing thermoplastics to high heat just so you could inhale them sound intriguing to you. I don't know, it might. So, whether this has significance in the tech world or not, uh, there's something just so darn cute about these little cheerleading robots I just had to share. It also gives me an excuse to say the words weeble wobble, because that's what they're doing on top of rolling balls. I mean, what? Is it just the song that's making them so cute, or is it the robot girls? That's just adorable. 
For more of this week's news, check out partspeople.com. I thank you for watching. What do you guys think of the phablet that you strapped to your arm that I kind of did? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to Parts People to be in touch with the tech loop. To be in the tech loop? To be in touch with me? No.